Hello guys, welcome. Here we are again. Okay, today's uh, kit review is going to be for the Italeri 15cm Panzerwerfer 42 Alf SWS. And kit number is 6562. This is in 135th scale. Usual warnings, briefings, etc. in six languages on the side, plus a little photo of the basic decals that you get in the, in the kit. On the other side we have, whoops, turn that around, basic camouflage indications for the two vehicles covered by the insignia involved. Usual descriptions etc. 14 plus for model makers. As you can tell, okay, this one is dated 2019 Italeri Spa. Right. Turn that one around there. Okay, so this particular model was first released in 1998. Has uh, been through some reboxing. I believe even Tamiya reboxed this, but it actually included Tamiya kits, uh, Tamiya figures in the kit, as there are no figures included in it. This kit, by the way, does have interior detail. The original um, Panzerwerfers had very basic interiors, racks for the rockets, seats for the driver, that's about it. Nothing special inside the cab of these things. Right, so this one has Lincoln length tracks, so this is not too bad. Alright, so let's put this one a box aside and let's have a look at the in uh, what's inside. Alright, instructions. Camouflage, basic instructions, interesting way to do that. Alright, we'll have a look at those shortly. One big bag of sprues, including the decals for the... And that's it. Alright, so everything is in one bag in this particular thing. Which is um, different, but it is an older kit, and it is Italeri. Some manufacturers prefer to put them all in one. Some manufacturers put them in separate bags. Anyway, in a second, we'll have a look at the instructions and then we'll have a look at the sprues. Okay. Okay, so here we are back again. Normal instructions, Italy. Six languages, English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, Russian. Basic warnings in six languages again, 14 plus as usual. All right. Okay, so you've got four sprues in all. One contains the size of the vehicle, rockets, base, etc. The other one is the top and the inside floor plan, top of the vehicle. And then two sprues for the wheels and the Lincoln Land tracks. You also got suggested colours. There's only eight suggested colours. So I think internet uh, references for this. Now, this is the SWS version. There is an Opel Multia version as well, which I also have, and I will do a review on that one um, in due course. All right, so let's go to first step it's putting the sides together with the base and torsion bars okay once that's done go into constructing the wheels drive sprockets drive sprockets bogies idle wheel all right then we go on to attaching all of these to the main frame including a basic uh, looks like engine, drive shaft. Then we come to attaching the link and length tracks. Okay, fairly straightforward. We'll give you a reasonable kind of track sag. Then it just moves on to the neck, the other side. Exactly the same. Suspension parts, wheels, hooks, etc. for the back. Link and length tracks. 
and then it comes on to the construction of the um, steering for the front. And then you've got your two wheels, pretty straightforward, that says the steering. Then we come to interior. Now this is the interior, these are the rocket racks which go inside the vehicle. All right. Then we move on to attaching the sides to the base. All right, so floor, back doors, top attaches to that section, attaching the hatches. Now the hatches can be left open if you want, which if you want to see the interior, you're going to have to. During the construction, you will get color call outs all the way. Like I said, basic colors, black, gray, etc., etc. Then we come to constructing the front of the vehicle. Again, hatches can be left open if you wish. There are seats inside, so yes, you can. And then comes to the launcher itself. Okay, this is the launch mount. Put it all together, clicks in place, and away you go. All right, so let's go back. You can put rockets in the launcher if you wish, or if you wanted to, and I'm pretty sure you could. You can actually put rockets like this one here into the internal racks. It even gives you, okay, decals, 10 decals for the rockets, which is actually um, better than most manufacturers. So that's the instructions. Pretty straightforward. The color callouts, I have actually seen a photo of this vehicle. So I believe that's what they've done. They've based these colors. On actual photos All right so pretty straightforward basic uh, dark yellow green red brown silver which you wouldn't use use graphite or something like this and black for the rubber and that's it okay so I'll put those aside wait one more thing I will show you okay have a look at that I'll give you a still photo of this anyway the decals for the for the um, Panzerwerfer only cover two particular vehicles okay so if you want to expand the range you'll have to source some aftermarkets okay we'll put those aside and uh, then we'll have a look at the sprues Okay, here we are back and time to look at the sprues. All right, the sprues are quite big, so I'll put them down there. All right, so this is your interior base. It does have some very fine tread pattern on it, which, uh, considering, is not a bad thing. Detail on the sides and on the top. Yeah, it's not too bad. From what I can see, there is very little flash on these. There's your front. There's your rocket launch tubes. This is the top of the vehicle. Okay. Turn it around. Yep, I cannot see much in the way of flash. A couple of marks and things, but you probably won't see those. Okay, so we'll put that over there. there next sprue another big one all right so these are your torsion bars which join the two halves together base oops, rockets hatches uh, that looks to be like your suspensions exhaust back door possibly and tools All right so again no major flash that I can see it looks pretty clean to me let's put that over there
Okay, next one. You get two of these sprues, so I won't show you both of them. That's a bit of a waste. This is your link and length. Lengths. Short and long links. Front tyres. Okay, and your drive sprocket. Okay. Idle wheel. Again, not much in the way. I can't see much in the way of flash. Um, they do use plastic tyres. Only two piece, so it is an older kit, so I'm not surprised. Apart from that, that is the 15 centimeter Panzer Werfer 42 of SWS. SWS. Um, this one, I believe, probably cost me around $25. Um, it was pretty cheap. It was on. I got a really good deal for this one, and I'm really, really happy with it. And actually, this may be the next model that I put together. Okay, so if you can pick this one up, I definitely reckon it's worth it. Okay, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something from this, and uh, check you later. See ya.